Hello, I'm here at AQS Quilt Week in Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and I have Nancy Breland with me, who's one of our contestants, and he, she has a quilt that uses linens, and we've had a display here with Cindy Needham, and I thought you'd like to know what Nancy did different with your quilt. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about what you've done. Well, there are three different vintage linens here. There's a tablecloth, another tablecloth, and on top of that, there's a doily. So it's three layers of linens, three old layers, linens. And then on top of just a piece of ecru background to set them off. Okay. Uh, the, the quilt is home machine quilted by me. Okay. And when I was finished all that, the last thing I do is put on all the embellishments. So I did all of these pearl buttons to kind of take it over the top. So tell me, what do you do to kind of stabilize a, a piece of linen mm -hmm. to the background so that you get it so that it's well, nice I, sharp points? I use the glue that people use to secure applique. Okay. And I can glue the quilt, the uh, vintage linen down onto the background and it holds really tight. So you just do that around the edges? Just dots and the edges, but then okay. in the center too, because these things are stretchy. Yes, right. They're handmade, they're irregular. And so the more glue I do, the more sure I am that it'll stay in place. And then I free motion quilt with very fine bottom line thread over the linens and you can't see the thread at all, so it looks pretty invisible. Right, and, and in fact, attached. if you really didn't look closely, you wouldn't even know that there were three layers there, no, would you? No, you wouldn't, except for the wonderful colors that linens can come in. And the only way that I see is like right here is the edge of this piece of mm -hmm. linen, isn't it? That's the only visible thing that kind of gives it away. Yeah, but you know, this was on the piece itself. That's not my stitching. Was it really? That was the way it was made by, who knows, who made it? Uh -huh. You know, so many of these things are works of anonymous women. Sure. And I admire that work very, very much. Well, it certainly is a beautiful quilt. Now, I know you've entered our show a number of times. I have. I've entered all the Lancaster shows when it was AQS, and I have entered Paducah when I was able to get there. So I've been a fan of AQS for many years. Well, and your name, you know, I proof all that stuff okay. in our show books, so and so it. your name is well, a name in, I certainly recognize. In 1993, recognized. I was an AQS author. Okay. Uh, so a long time and ago. so what book was that? That was called Tricks with Chintz. Oh, I remember that ago. book. Yeah. Yes, that's back when the chintz really was starting to be yes. more popular, wasn't yes. it? Yes. So well, that was a good time. I'm glad we ran into you here at I'm, the show. And thank thanks you very for much telling and us. Thank you for all you do. Thank you. Okay. And so we hope we'll see you at an AQS Quilt Week sometime soon.